neighbor. <laughs> hey, I'll do it. <laughs> I like that you're Mr. Rogers, like Matthew McConaughey sort of. All right, man, my neighbor over here. I like wear, you know. You Hello, come, kids. I like to wear sweaters. <laughs> and I like puppets. I did not really grow up on Mr. Rogers. I'm sorry. I've seen a lot of spoofs of him. You yes. did, though. I did, yeah. I love yeah. Mr. Rogers. You're like a 70s kid or something. <laughs> yeah. I grew up and said I'm a lot older than I look. <laughs> Let's see what is this video that people have asked us to check out. And I saw it's number uno on the Thrending. Yeah, man. Thrending essay. Mr. Rogers, man. Mr. Rogers, bitch. <laughs> a television program for children made its unauspicious debut on station WQED in Pittsburgh. Its host, Fred Rogers. Yeah. I want to tell you two. What would you like to do? I like you. I like you, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> Get off the stage, please. all of the elements that make nice. good television and do the exact opposite. You have Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Low production values, simple set, unlikely star. Yet, it worked. Hello. I've always felt that I didn't need to put on a funny hat or jump through the hoop to have a relationship with the child. He was always trying to get a message across in every show. A week on death. What does assassination mean? Oh. A divorce. Some people get married and after a while they're so unhappy that they don't want to be married anymore. He was radical. I never really that, but he was radical. This was Mr. They Rogers. They want black people to come and swim in their swimming pools by being on the program was a statement for Fred. Hey, hey. A neighborhood was a place where at times that you felt worried, scared, unsafe, would take care of you. He had a singular oh, vision of nice. kindness and love. Love is at the root of everything. All learning, all relationships, love for the lack of it. Children have very deep feelings, just the way everybody does. There must be times when you do feel blue. I'm not feeling blue right now, though. Me neither. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? Well, I suppose it's an invitation. It's an invitation for somebody yeah, to be mom. close to. The greatest thing that we can do is to help somebody know that they're loved and capable of loving. good I, I feel like nowadays especially just like with the world the way it is i feel like we could use a little mr rogers at the moment a little a little kindness and, and love from a genuine place but the way the world is john the world's always been crap we yeah, always true. need mr rogers yeah, it's true it's so cool to see one of these like historical like peace documentaries and interviews of people who were around during this time or some people who appeared on Mr. Rogers. I feel like 9.9 .9 times out of 10 when I see some documentary about like the 60s or the 70s, it's always like the political dark times in the world. And this was something that was just about love and kindness and embrace. It's honing in on the themes of Mr. Rogers. It's not like <laughs> exploiting the, the, the fraud or the evil behind. <laughs> Secret addictions. Yeah. Philandering. <laughs> Not like he was a criminal or something. Siphoning money out of the show on PBS. It's about showing the cultural impact, and we don't have anyone like him right now. Not at the moment. Not Except for Tyro Magnus. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Tyrone's, Tyrone's probably Tyrone's the closest we're going to get to Mr. Sure. Rogers in our lifetime yeah. you know, now. <laughs> but no, this looks delightful. This feels very insightful, and it feels like uh, inspiring. A lot of times, you know, I feel like the word inspiring can be thrown around a little loosely, and it also depends on the context of what you're using it in. Sometimes the thing that motivates me more than anything else is acts of kindness, acts of love. There's a documentary series that my girlfriend showed me called The Kindness Diaries on Netflix, and it's all about doing kind deeds. And it sounds like it'd be dull, like there's no conflict or something. 
<laughs> but it's not. <laughs> Kindness, man. That's lame. lame. Who wants to be nice to anybody? <laughs> and this reminds me of that. But what I loved about seeing this was he was doing rather social political movements, like featuring those black people in the pool. It's a big statement to make and at that time. Like he was doing things that people were like, you should be doing this on television, or you should be talking about this to kids on television. But he did it anyway. It's empowering. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. And that was some of the stuff in this trailer that was a bit uh, new or, or enlightening to me is the strides he took for social issues and whatnot. Yeah. You know, the, the way he used his platform to help people out, you know, especially during rough times for civil rights. Mm -hmm. And like, that's super important. And that's something that, you know, we can often forget that kindness is not always as simple as we think it is. Sometimes it's about making a large Sometimes gesture. Sometimes it's courageous. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, he taught me what polyamorous relationships are. Mr. Rogers, why is why does that sometimes oh, you want to make love to more than one person at a time? You call that a menage a trois. <laughs> but you know, broaching the, the difficult issues in a, in a way. I also just love his respect for children too, because I have a hard time connecting with kids. Just you know, the way it seemed it's like he problem. really was. <laughs> yeah, well now nowadays especially it yeah. keeps everything on a really yeah. even keel. Don't have to worry about anybody misinterpreting anything. But yeah, you know, just the way he seemed to be able to understand and identify with, you know, young people, young minds and whatnot, and, you know, to interact in a wholly wholesome way is also inspiring, you know? Speaking of inspiring, Speaking of inspiring. I think we should give a shout out today for Patreon mm -hmm. to Erica Tuesday. Oh, what's up, Erica? John, I know Erica's been quite an inspiration in your life. Why don't you take this one? Hey, man, I mean, Erica is one of the most kind-hearted and warm people I know she's always opening up her place to her friends and even to people she doesn't know very well. She's very hospitable, very thoughtful, and just a terrific artist too all around. In her own way, works with the kids, working on those cartoons and whatnot. She's an illustrator by day and then she does her own artistic pursuits by night. She's and, uh, loving and accepting yeah. and just a kind, kind-hearted soul. The past few times you have gone over to one of her get-togethers and she's invited me along. And I have been able to ever go. <laughs> I think the next time you extend that invite, I'm going to do my best to show up, no matter what, Erica. So thank you for being here, my dear. Yeah. You're a really kind-hearted soul. Anyway, guys, who in your life is like a Mr. Rogers? Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell to get notified when a video of ours is up. And you can check us out on Patreon. We do weekly Q&As. We take a question, do a full video response to it. And we also uh, do full-length TV show reactions over there. Plenty of shows we're covering right now. We'd love to have you join us.